What's up, Yugi nerds? It's your boy Reaper here, and to welcome back to Draw for Turn. I know it's been a while since the last episode, but we finally got time, and as you can see here, I am joined with a very cool guest, a very special guest. We got our boy, the Common Collector, here on Draw for Turn. Uh, would you like hey. to Would you like to say hello? Yeah, hey guys, uh, how's it going? Uh, big fan of the podcast, so uh, I got asked to to join the podcast. Uh, it's been about a month already, and uh, just trying to line up our schedules has been pretty crazy. But we're finally here, and uh, yeah, I watched uh, I watched the other podcast episodes, and I was like, this is a great idea, and like a great like great cause behind it. Just like <laughs> getting to know some like fellow Yuki tubers or even just fellow players, and like yeah, I just thought it was such a great idea. I had to get onto this. Absolutely, man. Like that that makes me feel good because like when I was coming up with this idea, I was like, you know everybody talks about like decks and strategies in the game and like they want to show off their pools and everything but one of the things i yeah. love about the card game itself is sitting down with the community and just talking to players and figuring like and learning more about how they got into the game and stuff like that so i thought i thought it'd be a cool way to do it just sitting down and yeah. having having just conversation you know it's a different part yeah. of of Yu-Gi-Oh, you know it's showcasing that other side of the card game yeah, no, I totally agree. Uh, yeah, and like I, like uh, you and I were just talking the other day uh, about the live stream that I did at that. Uh, uh, we had a big trophy tournament at my locals, and it was the first one that we'd been back to, and like or like a big big tournament, and it was just so good to be like around people again to just talk about the game. Uh, it's just so good to like be around people, talk about the game, talk about talk about the new moments and the nostalgic moments. So absolutely so, yeah, man. I was more than happy to get on here absolutely um so uh just going through some quick things with your channel just we'll get, in case people in case some of our followers and subscribers aren't familiar with uh with the common collector uh right now he is currently sitting at you know 1.5 like just under 1.6 thousand subs a library of close. 200 like a library of 206 videos that is an amazing milestone man like I, I can't believe I've done 206 videos actually. And from what I'm seeing here, like, let's see, when when was your first upload? Like, do do you remember how far uh, back that was? It's it's about two and a half years, so it would have been uh, 2019, you know, like in July. Let me see here. Or uh, June. I think I have it right here. Uh, y yes, it looks like June okay. 17th. Yeah, uh, it, it's if it's the Genesis Impact Booster Box opening. Nope, nope, that wouldn't have No, been. that wasn't it? No, uh, if you go back further... Oh, okay, yeah, no, there's, there's, load, there's load times. <laughs> there's there's two videos that I never uploaded thumbnails to. That shows you how, how much I've grown, how bad <laughs> of a YouTuber I used to be. And I, I, had, I was like, I just uploaded these videos, and I was like, here's, here's some stuff I bought. And, uh, and now, like, I've, I, I look back on that stuff, and it's like, holy crap. I can't believe I uploaded those videos. Oh man! But I, but I never wanted to delete to delete them because you got to remember where you came from. Absolutely, man. Like absolutely, like it, it. It also gives the you know, it gives a look, like it gives younger channels you know, something to look at and be like, okay, this is where he started. You know, I, I, I can relate, yeah. and I know that I can build off of that. You know. Yeah, yeah, and I, I, I like looking back at stuff and seeing how poorly lit my old stuff <laughs> was how like yeah just how everything has progressed it's uh, like i think a lot of uv tubers can uh or just youtubers in general podcasters you know you can just look back on all this stuff and just be like wow i've grown and it's it's a cool experience absolutely man like 100 percent um so going into the first question it's the it's the common question okay. it's the base question how did you yep. discover Yu Gi Oh? Okay, so uh, this is going to be like the same answer that I think basically everybody's given, but uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh anime was really where where things caught me. Yeah. Uh, if you you look around uh, my room, I've got a shelf uh, right in front of me here, and it's just like filled with all the anime tins, like all of the artwork and stuff. You can see I've got posters and all that stuff of uh, the old Yu-Gi-Oh sets, the old posters and all that stuff. So, I mean, I was just always so, so enveloped in the anime. Uh, and then 
I want to say it was. I mean, it was very, very early on in the game, not during like the first runs of LOB or anything, but uh, like um, for sure, Metal Raiders was out, and my friend Josh from grade school, he told me, "Hey, uh, really, been, I've been collecting some of these Yu-Gi-Oh cards, you know, from the show that we watch, yeah. and uh, maybe you should go and and buy some of these cards." And so uh, I went to the mall with my mom one day, and I just said, "Hey, can, can we go buy some of these Yu-Gi-Oh cards? They look cool." And I remember that she bought me a Metal Raiders pack because I went home that day after, you know, we were at, I went to that school. My mom picked me up, went to the mall, came home from school, and I called up my friend Josh as I'm opening up my first pack of Metal Raiders. And I couldn't tell you what everything was, but I do know that I opened it and there was a, a Mask of Darkness in there and a Big Eye. And That's so I remember, awesome. I, I remember I saw. I saw the big guy and I'm like, what is this thing? This like the artwork back then was just so, so different from what we have nowadays. Not that it's worse or better, but well, I'd probably say it's a little bit, but, um, uh, back in the day, it was just so good. So grainy and so like visceral. Uh, oh, yeah. and then, yeah, like the, uh, mask of darkness, I believe is, is the one, uh, where it's just like the, it looks like a map almost. And it's just like the jankiest looking thing. <laughs> but I remember I was like, this is so so weird looking and so cool and i just got right into it from there dude like i i'm one of those people like don't get me wrong the new artwork is pretty you know all the new hollows and everything are so nice but there's just something really enjoyable about like the original printings of these cards and just be like wow yeah. that's like it just it just looks cool it had some grit to it absolutely absolutely and, and every everything nowadays is waifus like see i was about to say like i'm not trying to stomp on the waifu toes but like you know it's either you get waifus or you get you know big beefy dragons like there's no in between and honestly yeah. with dragon maids you get dragon waifus now so i mean yeah best of both worlds <laughs> man yeah. so uh when it comes when it comes to like the the trading card game like what is what is one of your like favorite memories involving the card game um well just going back to my roots a little bit i would say like like the school bus Yu-Gi-Oh, as i call it like <laughs> oh uh, yeah we, dude so, so i grew up uh living in the country uh about 15 minutes out of town when you add a, a school bus onto that uh and you're dropping everybody off you're on i was on the school bus for about an hour uh, you know, both ways every single day. Yeah. And so me and my my neighbor, uh, uh, Tyler, if you guys have ever seen some of my other videos, uh, Tyler, he did like the classic sealed Yu-Gi-Oh challenge and stuff with me. We played Yu-Gi-Oh every single day on the bus. If we weren't playing Yu-Gi-Oh, we were like playing Pokemon on our uh, Game Boy SPs or Game Boy Advances. Uh, we were just, we were into all that stuff, Yu-Gi-Oh, the Pokemon and absolutely yeah, just, man. i mean and just sitting down every day on the bus trying to squeeze your your monsters and your spells and traps onto, onto a bus your, seat on, on, onto your bus seat <laughs> you're hitting you're hitting bumps your cards are sliding around we had no card sleeves yeah so, no that's best back know. before you know sleeves were even thought of you know who needs card yeah, sleeves yeah, i'll no, just shove them in my pocket yeah no one used card sleeves we all used rubber bands and tied them tight around our cards <laughs> Yeah, uh, it was horrible. We were we were the worst. There's, uh, that was the that was the 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 Stone Ages for for Yu-Gi-Oh back then, man. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then I would just say, like, like probably one of my most clear, like, specific memories, uh, was was back in college. It was the first college that I had gone to in locals. I had been out of the game for quite a while. And I never really played very competitively. Yeah. And so um, I ran a lot of rogue decks back then. You know, I never even knew that they were rogue decks. They, to me, they were just decks. They were yeah. just cards. And yeah. So, um, and so I ran things like heroes, not the heroes that we know today. I'm talking elemental heroes. Oh yeah, no, you're talking Yu-Gi-Oh, yeah. GX, Jaden's heroes, like. Yeah. Like slap uh, flame wingman on board and you know let him get destroyed a turn later and you go minus three absolutely you know, that that kind of elemental heroes uh battery man was like my <laughs> deck uh, yes and and you'd be surprised how well i did with it against everybody uh around college that i played with 
Uh, and then Harpies was another really, really big one. Yeah. Uh, it, it comes back into the anime and all that stuff. And so I was really, really in, you know, uh, you know, you got my Valentine, everybody's uh, biggest crush. We all know why. She's oh, yeah. Super pretty. She, she, she had the charisma, you know, and she, and she had a few other things, but Se- second uh, to, second to Akiza. Yeah. Second to, Akiza. well, not second to like, you know, like that. She, she, oh. my's first. And then, you know, you get oh. Akiza second, you know, those are, those are the two, for, for, sh- for sure, the for two sure. big and love interests who's, for who's, who's, who's the one from GX. Uh, oh my God. Uh, I know who oh, you're talking about. Yeah. I forgot her name. Right. This- Cyber, the cyber angel gal cyber yeah angel. it's basically okay. the blonde female kaiba yeah oh, i kind of think of her name anyways we'll just move past <laughs> that let us know in the comments yeah let us know sure what was what was the gx girl's name yeah let us all know down in the comments oh i almost had it okay anyways um yeah so so specific memories i'm i'm tangenting um, no you're good so, man <laughs> so so um Alexa, Alexa Rhodes. Alexa, yes, Alexa Rhodes. You got it. You got it. Bang. Alexa Rhodes. Right. Got it. Got it. Got it. Let us know if we beat you to the comment section. Ooh. So okay. So we didn't even use Google. Over. Yeah. Yeah. Just use the use this Google. So <laughs> tangent over. So uh, yeah, my first big tournament in college. Uh, I was feeling pretty hot, and I uh, went to Sioux Falls, South Dakota. If you ever heard of it, it's a uh, it's a very big city. Uh, probably one of the biggest cities over in South Dakota. And so they were having a pretty, uh, fairly big tournament over there. And uh, I wanted to go check it out. And me and my one friend came. He was playing Grave Keepers, I believe. Uh, he didn't do as well. But uh, it was the fun, you know, it's the coolest feeling when you go to a new locals and you do really, really well. And uh, I showed up and everyone was kind of like, oh, who's this, who's this new guy here? And uh, I just said, hey, I'm just we're just here to, you know, try our best and, and play around a little bit. And I ended up getting into the final uh, feature match of the day. Hey. It was, uh, yeah, and uh, the, probably the most embarrassing part of the story is that it was Harpies versus Spellbooks, and I lost. Uh, I got second. Hey, that's you still know, really got, cool, though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the the part that's embarrassing is that it was spell book because harpies uh, with all the spell destruction power should be able to to floor it pretty easily. But uh, got to give hats off to my opponent. Uh, again, this is just such a vivid memory. But uh, my opponent he side decked me so well, uh, and it really taught me a lot about Yu-Gi-Oh. Taught me more of the competitive scene. There was more to just uh, playing around with your buddies in the dorm room. But still, I think I honed a lot of those skills that were like I had learned throughout all those years on the bus, uh, all those years playing around in the dorm rooms in college and stuff with my buddies. Yeah. Uh, I I felt like I was sort of a level above those guys, and then it was a humbling experience when I learned, okay, there's a lot still that I have to learn uh, about side decking, how to, how, how to take a matchup that you're – maybe not fared well against, and then just totally spinning it uh, in your favor. So that was a very big lesson for me, and it was it was just a really cool day. I bet, man. Like, I, see, I, I've never really had that, uh, that experience of going to any locals and, you know, showing off and, you know, fumble it. Like, I, I've never, like, okay, I, my Twitter bio sums up my skill at Yu-Gi-Oh, like, perfectly. <laughs> Because, like, it says I play Yu-Gi-Oh! competitively at a casual level. Like, I enjoy... (laughs) that's a good way to say it. I enjoy sitting down at locals. I enjoy going to locals. I enjoy competitive play. But I'm going to put my $5 in, and I'm going to walk away empty-handed. Well, not fully, because, like, I have the experience of sitting down playing, you know, talking to people. But I'm just there to have fun. I, I know that the decks that I run aren't going to top. Even I, I could be running the most meta deck. Like I could be running tier zero, right? Go in, have it built completely, know what I'm doing, and I will still like uh, I'll be out. I'll be zero and three. Yep. So like I, yep. no, I, I I feel you there. I go I go to have fun. I go to like 
hang out with the my local community. I, I go to talk to people. I go just to see what you know what else going on, like what's going on like in the in the new play. But I just I, I haven't had that experience. And it's always cool like and this that's what I enjoy about talking to people is like hearing their experiences and like hearing the, you know these cool stories just like man, that is yep. amazing. You know? Mm-hmm like cuz like you said like you were the new guy like you, you were the you were the unknown player you came in and you just you managed to make it all the way to the feature match like the like the final yeah. right there and that's just yeah. that's awesome man oh it was a great feeling everybody was like is this guy going to top with harpies like uh, cuz this was right around the time when necroz was coming out i can't remember if it was right before or uh, after yeah. i want to say it was before but Whatever was the meta right before Necroz, uh, <laughs> Harpies was not it, <laughs> and uh, it, it was it was it was very cool to do that. And then I had uh, when I moved uh, uh, after college, I had a very similar experience at another place. Ended up getting second again, and uh, like I said before, Battery Man was uh, one of my biggest decks, and uh, this was in Eternal format, and I got second place at a locals with with uh battery man and the the so i I played against like luna lights uh danger orcus which i beat uh luna lights i beat and then in the final match was against my now really good friend bobby uh who was playing thunder dragon and so we had a thunder versus thunder matchup and well uh he he in the in the final uh game in the match he topped at bls so that was the end of that (laughs) yep yeah again Everyone's sitting there going, wait a second, is this guy, the new guy here, is he going to win with Battery Man? With Battery Man? It's, it's the best feeling in the world. <laughs> Absolutely. Like, there, there's, okay, that, like, that is a even better feeling than just, like, it, it, just placing second, you know? Like, you took a deck that no one is expecting yeah. to, like, place or top or anything, like, and you took it all the way to the final Mm -hmm. like that's that's awesome like those are the kind of stories that really like that that i really enjoy because like you threw everybody off to the point where it was like wait are we literally about to let battery man take this tournament yeah like it's just it's it's a deck that can just that can pop absolutely man what's uh do do you you have a, a good uh like a good rogue pick deck that no one knows how to play against uh anything off the top of your head off the top of my head uh not a whole not really like i have a few rogue tier like like or a few like rogue tier decks like like in my head but they can definitely be played against like people can definitely yeah. out them and stop them especially with you know hand traps being as you know oh, yeah as stacked as they are now but like yeah, right absolutely. now, right now, like my one of my favorite rogue decks is Cubix because like you would, oh, dude, if Crimson Nova hits the board, I mean oh, it's it's board. kind of a it's kind of a rough one to get out of because mm-hmm. yeah, you know no, it, I've I've played against that a bit and it's tough. And then like between that and another one, uh, that I built here recently. Okay, so everybody everybody loves a good Egyptian god deck, right? Everybody loves, like, Sacred Beast Absolutely. decks because, you know, anime-related, oh my god, the Egyptian god, Sacred Beast. So when King's Court came out and I saw, you know, the Wicked stuff got reprinted, I was like, wait, yep. these are ar- like, this is an archetype that no one's really touched on in a minute. Nobody's really talked about the Wicked's, and I, you know... The, honestly that i know of ever for real and so i was like i'm going to take the mechanics of an egyptian god deck throw in a little extra stall and then throw the wicked engine in it because the wicked eraser you gain a thousand attack for each card your opponent controls right so say your opponent's board is stacked. They have seven cards. You summon it. That's a 7k beater. You swing into your opponent in the battle phase. You go to main phase two, activate its board nuke effect. Mm. And then so like you're yep. swinging in, you know, 7k and then nuke your entire, like yours and your opponent's entire board. So that way you both are having to start from scratch. Yep. And then, I mean, with, yeah. 
with the wicked avatar you know it gets automatically gets a hundred more points than the strongest attack monster on the field like yep. those are pretty good effects that everyone's just kind of sleeping on like no it's not meta by any means but it's still a really fun archetype it's yeah if if you can if you can find a deck that is at least enjoyable to play it is like such a better feeling than any meta uh, meta deck that can really produce absolutely um, like i okay go ahead. i oh, yeah go ahead cuz okay when when I, when I was able to tune into your uh your tournament live stream the other day uh yeah. i i tuned in at the I didn't know if you were running Sky Striker or if your opponent was running Sky Striker. I couldn't I, really tell. I never, I never got on the feature match actually. I was, I was right next to it at table two. We only filmed table one. Okay, okay. Well, yep. uh, somebody was playing Sky Striker, and yep. you know that's that's when when Engage came off the list this last this last go around. I was like, I have this deck. Yep. You know it. You know, it's it's a meta deck. It's very competitive. You know, I was like, okay, since I have the stuff, I'm gonna build it. I never really liked Sky Striker for real, but I had the card, so I decided to build it. Mm-hmm. it. I'm telling you right now, I have had more fun running my Wicked Stall Poo Poo deck than I have yeah. ever had running a meta Sky Striker deck. Mm-hmm. And I don't know why. I, I, I guess it's because, like, to me, it's more fun seeing what these lower tier decks, like these decks that no one's really playing with, can actually pull off and do, as opposed yeah. to being like, okay, uh, you know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go ahead and do it real quick. Do you have a response? Mm-hmm. Like, that's, I don't know. To me, it's just more fun that way. Yeah, yeah, not to mention uh, the hype, especially if you're at like an actual in-game locals, the hype of everybody around you when you pull off something fantastic with a fun deck is like so great. Like, Oh, absolutely. Uh, what, what one week, we, we were doing online locals, but we all do a, a Discord group chat uh, for our online locals. Yeah. And this was right after I built my... Uh, my arm dragon ojama deck so like Chaz princeton style deck oh my and, god um, it was it was so fun I, nobody knew how to play against it i bet. I, lo- I lost several games but uh but the one time where i was able to go full combo and got out the whatever arm dragon catapult cannon level te- or whatever it is yeah. i can't even remember what its name is when I got that thing out on the field, everybody was in the chat, whoa, whoa, like, couldn't believe it. And it's like, you know, you can watch uh, a Drytron player make a big board, but then I played Drytron, so I'm, I'm, I'm shitting on myself. <laughs> but you can watch a Drytron player build this big board, and, like, you'll, you'll see a, a couple golf claps in the corner, but everyone loves it when a good rogue deck just takes off. Oh, absolutely, because, like, it's, like, rooting for the underdog. Like, everybody loves a good underdog story, yeah. you know? Like, you could sit there having Tri-Brigade, you know, they activate Revolt, get Shurag out, and then they build into whatever else they're going to build, and you're going to sit there like, okay, I was expecting that. Like, bravo, you got your combo, whatever. Yep. <laughs> but, like, yep. 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 you have something, like, like you said, like, Ojama uh, Arm Dragons or, you know, like that's that's oh, it's crazy. So like, it's it's just really cool yeah. to see decks that you don't think you know have a big play actually perform their big play, and they're like, "Oh, I wasn't expecting that. That was cool." Yeah. Yep. Oh man. Yep. Okay. So, 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 so moving on. I I've got some questions for you. Oh. You're, you're the one behind 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 the desk. Uh, who's always asking the questions? So I figured it'd be it'd be a nice break for for you to get some questions. So sure, man. Uh, just just like some just like some current things we've been talking a little about a bit about the meta, but uh, like what are what are your thoughts uh, on the Megaton so far? Have you gotten your hands on any? Oh, dude. Uh, so actually, uh, okay. This is this is like a, a story leading into the answer of your question. Um, okay. So you were the winner of our booster box giveaway. Got it. Yep. Uh, he, uh, yep. Common Collector won the Booster Box giveaway. Um, and we actually an- announced and selected our winner, uh, at the end of our, uh, case battle opening. It was me and yep. our, uh, our squad member, uh, Easy Walker Games. We both got our hands on two cases. 
cracked them, right. and then at the end we announced uh, we announced the winner. We selected the winner. Um, and yep. I have to say, one if you if you haven't watched the video, I know it's a long one, and I know it's hard to you know sit through that long of a video, especially for people opening cards. But dude, okay. When you think cross out designator, what do you what what have you heard on the ratios? Uh, it sounds like about one per case. Uh, I've my my one friend Tyler. He got uh two cases and he pulled two in each case. So he he got pulled four. two out of each. So, two out of each. That's so, yeah. insane. So, so one to two, one so one to two per case is what I've been hearing. Okay, so yeah, because I pulled one out of mine. And my my friend yep. Easy Walker, he he straight pulled two out of his case, man. It was insane. Ooh. It was That's it was awesome. crazy to see, cause like it, and the weird thing is like, even he said he was like, I've seen people in videos like pulling two per case, like two two out of a case, and he was like, like he called it before we even started like going live, before we started that stream, he was like, there's gonna be two, this one right here, I got two. Ooh. And sure enough, man, if he did not pull that second one. But uh, my opinion on the Megatons after saying that is, I believe they, like, this is the the best release set that I, that we've gotten all year, in my opinion. My personal opinion, this is, like, yeah. one of the strongest sets because, yes, I know, they, they reprinted Structure Deck stuff. I could have done without that. I could have done without the that Structure Deck reprints. Yep. But... Like these Megatons, not only one have decent value in them, but two, yep. I mean, you get a lot of really good reprint staple, like staple cards, like stuff that just you don't see much. I, I pulled two triple tactics talents out of my case. Yep. Uh, out of my case, that is a very, a great very staple card, like very staple yep. side deck card. One that I would have never got my hands on had I not cracked open a Megaton. You know. Right. I believe that this is a really good product. Now I know I know that there's rumors that you know people are missing ultras, people are missing secrets. Sometimes there's like four ultras, no supers. Like I I know yeah, that there's cool. like re, like there's printing issues, there's packaging issues. I get that. But one, if you open one of those tins, you get to say that you got to open a factory error tin. That doesn't you that's know true. like I mean yes it's kind of it, it might bum you out a little bit, but that's that's something that you that's priceless right there factory error or anything is like one of those like priceless feelings it's like yeah yeah in a way. i got yeah. gypped a little bit but like this tin was packaged wrong you know yeah it's it's it's, it's not a great feeling but but i get what you're saying I, I i don't know i guess that's just me like it my, my mindset is like oh man i got robbed out of that but konami you didn't package this right <laughs> It's it's good when it's a uh, factory error in the opposite way, and you just get like a zillion ultras or prismatics. Oh, it's like just a pack full of a <laughs> pack full of ultras. <laughs> somebody, oh my God, that'd be, somebody out there's gonna there, <laughs> somebody out there's gonna get like a pack cards. of just like nothing yeah. but crossouts. <laughs> yeah, there's what uh, eighteen cards per pack in the mega pack, so it's like yeah. Could you imagine just like eighteen designators? Dude, that'd that would be, be ins that'd be nutty. But yeah, yeah man, absolutely. like I, I, I really enjoyed the tens. Like it's been the, it's been yeah. the most exciting product this year so far for me to actually sit down and open at least. Yeah, yeah, and I, I was even telling one of my friends he, he doesn't buy much, uh, sealed product, and he hasn't, really, he hasn't bought anything like in store sealed product since pretty much the pandemic started. Yeah. So like even even ignition assault he didn't buy much of because really, uh, light, uh. Lightning Storm was like the only big chase card. Uh, so, and then I, I said to him, I was like, uh, he pre-ordered uh, a case and I was like, you did a great thing here because I mean, Blazing Vortex, there's nothing big and meta that came out of there. Lightning mm -hmm. Overdrive, Todd of Majesty, there's uh, B, B Troopers is doing very well now. Yeah. Uh, but, and then you've got just some small staples here and there from Blazing Vortex. Um, and then Lightning Overdrive gave us Diviner of the Herald and stuff. But really, if you if you bought these Megatons, you're you're caught up on the meta. Absolutely. Uh, way, which is which is really cool. Uh, it 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 maybe is a little unfortunate for people who have been buying a lot of sealed product this year, 
but for the people who are trying to catch up from uh, where the pandemic started us, they're 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 like, bam, they they, they hit that that Mario Kart mushroom, <laughs> and they're they're right up there with us. So that's really absolutely, cool. man. Like, like I said, like as you stated, like out out of the last couple of sets, like obviously you have your chase cards, you have like your your meta staples out of them, and everything like that, but there hasn't really been like a whole lot of anything else like there hasn't been like a new deck archetype there hasn't been like really anything like that to like make people want to go out and buy more of the actual set as opposed to the singles with the megatons like yeah you could buy singles you could save yourself some money but like you you definitely get your money's worth out of it like and, and it's fun to open like yeah, I've yeah. opened, I've opened King's Court, I've opened uh, Dawn of Majesty, I opened Lightning Overdrive, and don't get me wrong, I got great pulls. I'm not complaining about opening those sets. It was a great time. Mm-hmm. But the Megatons, I sat there and I thoroughly, like full on, from the moment I opened them, from the moment we stopped opening them, even if the packs weren't, you know, even if like there weren't really any like money cards in the packs, I had fun opening it, and I feel like. Yeah. I feel like that's the selling point of the product, at least for Konami. You know, like anybody can go to TCG Player, find what they're wanting. You know, any, like or Core TCG, whatever single sh- shop you, you, you that you use, and just order it right there and have it. You know, but one, it also kind of goes back to you know how we were when when we were kids, like getting those packs and be like, oh, what did I get? What did I get? Yeah. I feel yeah. like I feel like the the Megatons were able to provide that feeling again for for people our age. Once you know, yeah, like it's just that feeling of I know what to expect out of this. Did I get it? Like, what did I get right. out of this? Yeah, I, w- I would say adding on to that because like you you buy some of these like core sets like uh, uh, Lightning Overdrive, and it's like okay, if I pull a secret rare here. I get a Mubeta Fafnir, and it's like, okay, let's get to the foil card. Oh, I didn't get it. But then uh, when you get, so you, you really just care about the foil. When you yeah. get to these mega these mega packs, it's like you're you're gonna get uh, just a generic rare. You're gonna get two super rares, and then two ultra rares, and a prismatic. So it's like foil. Okay, uh, this one's not that great. We'll get to the next card. Okay, prismatic. That was awesome. Ultra, mm, not that good pull the next ultra cross out designator wow that was a great pack you know so yeah it's i I get what you're saying there and like and there's so much variety in it like i I know everybody's wanting that cross out everybody's wanting that divine arsenal zeus everybody's wanting you know the the triple tactics but there's actually like there's so much more variety in it too you know like oh man i didn't pull cross out but I did get a rarity bump for my Shadal, or, you know, ooh, I yeah. got this sweet tri card, you know, I got, you know, like, there's just so yeah. much more, like, even if you don't get the 100%, like, big chase cards, you still get, like, really cool cards and, you know, uh, like, archetype styles, you know, like, if you weren't really interested in building tri before, oh, you, you pulled the, the Fergeet. Okay, sweet. Mm-hmm. Let's let's see what we got here, you know. And and now when that's, you look that's into a that, big thing for me. and like when you look into the prices now because of that Mega Ten set, one you're going to pull a good handful of the stuff that you need, and if you don't pull it, the prices are now a whole lot lower for a meta tier deck. So like yep. you can now play more competitive, like this big competitive deck at a more budget friendly price. And you can pull most of it just out of a couple tens. Like you get, you can get the revolts, yeah. you can get airborne assaults, you can get the links, you can get, you know, Karis, uh Even like you, you can literally get the entire deck out of the mega tens. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I think that like the airborne assault is is just a rare. It so is. It's, it's That's how I got my scary. copies. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I mean, yeah. I think probably one of my fairest, my favorite rarity bumps. I like we said. The whole structure deck inclusion, not that great, but my one of my favorite rarity bumps was Shadal App Cologne. It looks absolutely beautiful as a prismatic. See, I like I, I'm the same way, but with construct, man. That prismatic secret on construct, oh. I thought it looked really good. Yep. Okay, yeah, yeah. I don't I haven't seen that one. You haven't seen that one yet? 
No. Oh no. boy, I hope you pull it out of that. Uh, I, oh, oh, I, I, I'm sorry, I forgot. Oh, I guess, I guess we could we could talk about it now. I mean, I, 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 I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. I, I just That's, no, it, it slipped. That's totally fine. So okay, so what he's referring to is, uh, I have this case to open. Uh, uh, so tomorrow I will be cracking open this bad boy. Uh, it's gonna take it's gonna take all of my my willpower to not open this right now. But uh, so so tomorrow I am opening up this uh, case, and since I won the giveaway through the stream squad, I want to give back to them and basically to their community. So uh, all you guys have to do to get into the giveaway, we will. Be uh, I will be giving away, we will be giving away, uh, one of the Megatons, so, uh, if you guys just have not been able to get your hands on it, I know that they're kind of flying off the shelves at Walmart and stuff, so, absolutely. if you guys want to, yeah, absolutely, so, if you guys want to get your hands on them, uh, I, I will be giving one away, uh, amongst our two channels, so, all you guys have to do is comment on this video, uh, and then comment on the live stream, uh, check out the live stream, also, I'm assuming I'm going to run out of things to say. It might seem impossible because we've been rambling for like probably 40 <laughs> minutes now. But uh, if I run out of things to say about the set, ask me some questions. And uh, as long as you are subscribed to both of our channels, you can get entered for the giveaway. So, uh, and then like the drawing will just uh, be in a few days. So absolutely, uh, just to give people time to uh, check out the live stream if they didn't see it live and uh, get to this podcast video because uh, hopefully this will be uh, uploaded uh, relatively soon. Uh, yes, uh, right now we are recording this on a Friday. I am going to have it scheduled to upload on a Monday. So happy Monday to you guys. Um, okay, so you guys heard it here. On Tuesday is the drawing. Oh, there we go. So uh, at there the time of recording this, tomorrow, if you're watching this right now on the day that it's uploaded, tomorrow we are doing the giveaway. Uh, like it's, like, right. like he said, uh, all you gotta do, make sure you subscribe to us both. Uh, make sure you leave a comment, make sure, I, I, you can't really check out the live stream live at the time of watching this, but you can definitely go watch that recap that he'll, that'll be uploaded on his channel, I believe, right? Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Absolutely. Okay, so, before we close out, do you, like, do you have any other questions for me? I feel like, I feel like we need to get back to the classic Yu-Gi-Oh! If we have time. The classic Yu-Gi-Oh! All right, sweet. Um, so, first off, who is your favorite uh, favorite character from uh, from old school Yu Gi Oh? Like from from the original uh, anime. I like so so there, there's a part of everyone I feel like that you have to say like Yugi or or like Yami Yugi. Okay, like okay, your, let's okay, your, let's or, let's or rephrase attempt, the question. Sorry, let's rephrase the question. What's your favorite okay, okay. non main character? Oh, so oh, so, so now I can't even say like a, okay. So, no, like, so I, I can't I, say. I, I'm going off of like the, like the main group, not like the, outside not the, of. Not the, not the, like okay. I'm going like so outside. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> if if I was to say like a main ish character, I I would definitely say uh, Joey Wheeler because I mean he I feel like growing up, uh, I was like a bit like him, you know. I I kind of had to learn the game as I went along. And I was always a jokester, just kind of a class clown and all that stuff. But, yeah. Uh, but uh, and then I, I just I just got to give it to Pegasus though, because hey. Pegasus is the man. Uh, I actually just got a Thousand Eyes Restrict autographed by uh, uh, by the the voice actor of Pegasus. That's awesome. Super duper cool. Yeah, yeah. I got it off a, a Facebook group. Uh, but yeah, like Pegasus was always just so good. Uh, uh, getting back to like the school bus Yu-Gi-Oh again. Um, I used to always sit on the school bus. Like if I wasn't dueling, uh, I would like listen to my, I had a CD player. So this is, this was back in the days. Of Music, to Music to duel by? Music to duel by. Yes, and, dude. Oh my and, God. And there's, and there's the, uh, the, the Pegasus song. The face, face up, face, face, down. face down. Yes, it is, dude. It is such a good song, and it's you know it's not even really. I don't even know if it's in the anime. It's but, not. Uh, it's not. It's it's. So it never good, made though. an appearance, I mean, but it is it is really good. I'm so glad I mean, that somebody else knows of that CD because for the oh, longest time I thought so I was the bangers. only one that had ever heard it. Oh no, there's so many bangers on there. You've got, uh, no matter what, which was always like, like, 
anytime I'm dueling against like a really close friend and we're like we're in like a head to head match and it's like okay whoever like top decks the right card wins here and it's like like my getting back to my buddy Tyler like when we did our sealed Yu-Gi-Oh challenge it was like it felt very Yugi versus Joey like no matter what we'll let the game begin, begin. Oh, yes it, dude it was uh oh there's just so many good tunes on there but yeah face up face down great lyrics and but and you got the voice actor of pegasus you know your turn you know it's just like it's like it's just so so good oh absolutely man like i i'm i'm just so happy right now because like even (laughs) even now about that cd absolutely dude i used to like my it was in my cd player like all the time just cranked up like it, I, it's not even on Spotify. It's not. I, However, you can me, find I like three weeks ago. Me too, man. Like I, there's still to this day. Like I'll be like, I want to go listen to some of these songs, and oh, yeah. I have to go to YouTube. Like it's on YouTube. You can find the songs on YouTube. Yep. But it's not on Spotify. I feel like they should. Like, I feel like Konami owes it to us to re-release that in some form. Oh, for real. I I also collect vinyl records and. Gosh, that would be such a cool one to have on vinyl. I, w- I would, yeah, I would get it on vinyl, one hundred percent. That that would be that would be amazing, just to drop the needle on that, and you just hear the. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> that would be great. So, uh, yeah. I know, I know the the name of your channel, the Common Collector. Yep. Uh, is are you able to to give us a sneak peek of some you, of your collection? Oh, you you want to you want to like see the collection right now? Well, I mean, if you, I, I, if you can't, if you can't, then like, I I don't want to pressure you. But like, it's just like it's just a little bit everywhere right now. It's a little bit like, everywhere just, right now. Like, um, give me a minute. Give Absolutely. Me a minute. Tell, tell 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 the viewers a story. All right. All right, guys. So, uh, I don't really have a story here. I don't. I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna look at you guys. We're gonna. We're just gonna sit here and have a moment. You know, we're just gonna sit here and really understand each other. I wish I had a story. I don't have a story. Uh, uh, this one time at uh, at band camp, I uh, I shoved a flute. You know, that that story's not appropriate. That story's not appropriate. I apologize. Um, see, I don't. I don't really have a whole lot of stories. So now, we're gonna sit here. And just and just gaze into each other's eyes. We're just gonna gaze, you know. Oh, welcome back, bud. Welcome hey, back. Hey, how's that? Welcome back. How's that story going? Oh, it was it was great. It was a great it was a great story. You missed it. It was a fantastic story. Wait, wait, I'm not back yet. One sec. Oh, okay. So welcome back, guys. Hey, how are y'all doing? Y'all doing good? Hope you're having a good time. Oh, oh no, he's not back yet. He's not back yet. It's okay. It's just just you and I. Hello. Oh, Almost hey. missed the most important part. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, just from what I could quick grab off of my table. So, uh, we were talking earlier about uh, factory error boxes. So, uh, I don't know how much research you did on my channel, how far you went back, but uh, did you ever check out my Toon Chaos opening? Uh, I did not. I did not get okay. to see that one. So, so if anybody who has uh, seen my channel, uh, like like from back in the day, would know, I had a rather good experience with Toon Chaos. So I went to my locals and I bought three boxes. One, I was hosting a tournament uh, amongst some friends and stuff, and it was sort of like a fundraising thing for the channel. So we we're doing like a win a box thing, and so I bought one for that. Uh, and then the other two boxes I opened up on the channel. And so I'm opening these up, and uh, what what are the pull ratios usually for collector's rares? Collector's rares? Yeah. Uh, I want to say, like, okay, I've never actually gotten to pull one, but I want to say the ratios are, like, what, one one per case, one to one every two cases? It, no, no, it's, it's, like, it's, like, one in every uh, three uh, booster boxes. Okay. Um, well, then I just keep just, getting screwed on booster boxes, but continue. Okay, so uh, so anyways, on my Toon Chaos opening, uh, in my two boxes, I managed to pull seven. Oh so, my god! So uh, it was all factory error, uh, basically. So 
uh, the 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 ratios for the for these for the side sets out the the deck building sets like Genesis Impact, Toon Chaos, all of those. You're supposed to get three to four ultra rares per box, uh, and so your three to four ultra rares, they are uh, they they can get replaced by a collector's rare. So what ended up happening is that at the factory they had to have packaged my Toon Chaos boxes without any ultra rares. They just put in collector's rares. So I ended up pulling Toon Harpy Lady, uh, the Chaos Emperor Dragon, and the BLS, the Toon Bookmark, uh, Pot of Desires. Ooh, good thing that these are in sleeves. We got a Pot of Desires, and then uh, the Chaos Valkyria and Chaos Space. So, uh, all collectors. Yeah, that rares. was absolutely insane. Uh, my hands were shaking. My hands were shaking the entire time. If I cannot recommend it um, highly enough, go back and just type in like "factory error tune chaos boxes" and you'll you'll find the video. I'm I'm gonna have um, that linked. I'm gonna go yeah, ahead and you, link you that video like, in the description like... below. Because uh, yeah, yeah. that's amazing. Um, it it was it was like the biggest feeling of elation I've ever experienced. Jesus. Uh, I, until until my next big pull, which happened about a month later when uh, uh, when Battles of Legend Armageddon came out. Okay. If you know what I mean. Have you ever seen a ten thousand dragon? Oh my god. Yeah, uh, I had a pretty hot summer summer la uh, last year, so Dude. yeah, I basically pulled I pulled all of these collectors rares and ten thousand dragon about a month apart. That's uh, insane. You you might want to link that one as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna I'm um, I'm gonna have the link to the Toon Chaos and the Battles of Legend Armageddon uh, in the description box below. Yep. If you if you want to see this man pull yep. straight fire like insane luck god boxes check that check check that description box below i i i couldn't believe if and if you if you watch that video uh of me pulling the ten thousand, i i saw it pre i saw the the side because the sides are so shimmery yeah uh, i saw the siding uh glowing and i'm like oh my gosh this is either the uh number 39 utopia like astral rare or whatever they called it or it's a ten thousand dragon and I couldn't believe it. And my hands started shaking so bad. And I just like, like ripped the next card and I saw it was 10,000 dragon. And I was like, so shocked. I actually like, like just set it down on the table and was just like, oh my gosh. And like, and my hands are shaking. And I, I said out loud, I go, this is worse than Toon Chaos. Because the entire time in Toon Chaos, my hands were shaking too. Like it, it was like, I was ripping packs and I just couldn't stop pulling collectors rares. Like I, it, it got to the point where I had attitude. Uh, in the second box of Toon Chaos, I was like, I was, I had already pulled like seven, and I was like, okay, let's just go to the next pack. Oh, collectors rare! Oh my gosh! Like, what is like, what is happening? Like, that's like, like, that's crazy. Like, I was mad that I like upset the cosmic like order in a way. <laughs> so I was like, I. I was like, I am never going to have luck ever again. Like, I, I'm going to, like, get hit by a bus tomorrow for sure. Well, uh, see, here. see now, now, whenever you get that, that booster box of Donna Majesty, can you, can you pull, can you pull another one? Can Gosh, you pull that uh, Starlight like if, Rare? If I, if I, I, I've been thinking about that ever since you told me, I was like, what if I pull a Starlight? That'd be so cool. Uh, I did, so, so just another card I pulled, I did get a... Uh, Lynn the Light Charmer out of Lightning Overdrive. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, that was that was a very nice one. Um, I've so I've I've pulled if you if you include Ten Thousand Dragon, I've pulled four Starlights, which is pretty crazy. But I also buy a lot of product for the channel. Yeah. So uh, Ten Thousand Dragon, the Lina the Light Charmer that I just showed. Uh, the first one that I pulled was out of a just a pack that I bought at. Um, I had a locals uh, of Chaos Impact, which was uh, Gorgon, Empress of the Evil Eye, and that was what got me into my probably my one of my favorite rogue decks uh, next to like Battery Man and stuff, which is Evil Eye, yeah. which is 
more competitive for sure. Uh, Evil Eye is actually a fairly good deck. It's like it's like Diet Eldritch, <laughs> you know. It was it was like Eldritch before Eldritch was around. Yeah. Um, super fun deck, and I I pulled the the Gorgon, and I was like, I need to build this deck. Um, and then and then the next one would have been in Rise of the Duelist. I pulled an Ecclesia, uh, which which That's was insane. So, and then dude. and then again, uh, and then again, it was one of those things where just like the Gorgon, I said. Well, I guess I'm building Dogmatica now, so I <laughs> built the Dogmatica Invoke Shadal deck, and I played that around for a very long time too. So that was very fun. Uh, so those are those are my four Starlights I've pulled. Uh, so maybe we'll we'll see what uh, Dawn of Majesty has in store. Absolutely, and we'll be able to see it live here on the Stream Squad channel. That right that's, here, that's baby. that is going to be it's going to be fun. It's going to be a good time. But yeah, yeah, and then just. The, Oh Ooh, no. are, are, are we at, are we at wrap time? Uh, he... I, I was just gonna show uh, I was I was just gonna show that uh, that thousand eyes restrict. Oh, so you can see right so up cool. on top it says Pegasus, and uh, afterwards it's you can see like a little uh, Millennium Eye symbol, which is really cool. Uh, and then that's the actual voice actor uh, uh, signature. And then just the next one because we were talking about Joey Wheeler. This is a I believe an unlimited run. Uh, uh, yeah, start Joey starter deck. Oh, it's, it's it's not it's not first a dish, but hey, uh, it doesn't but, matter. Yeah, it's, That's yeah, it's awesome. It's very cool to just to to just see that red eyes just uh, laying right there. They just don't uh, make structure just, decks the way that they used to, you know. No, no, they don't. Um, yeah, I I I can't tell you how many of those things I opened. Uh, there there was even one time where like. I was in my dad's old like truck that he used to like use for like farm work and we're, we were in there one day on a road trip and I like opened up his glove compartment and I found an entire uh, Pegasus structure deck or starter deck that I just I just like put away in there one day and it, it was all open and everything but I was like oh what are these cards and I'm like tune 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 and I'm like oh this is a, a Pegasus structure deck that's awesome yeah. That's that's cool. I I can't tell you how many of those I bought when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, same. <laughs> like, it, it. Those were the good old days. Those were the good old. Oh, days. they were. They Back were, when you could always yeah. find product on the shelf, you didn't have to worry about them not being there. You know. Yep. Yep. For sure. I the 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 good old days with Legend of Blue Eyes, uh, Magic Ruler. This is another pride and joy of my collection is just this poster magic ruler uh invasion of chaos all of those sets were so good metal raiders uh like they were just so so good the cards were very good uh like they were just the again we were talking about the artwork it was just so good and gritty and visceral i just love that time absolutely man absolutely yep. But unfortunately, that is all the time that we do have for this video. Uh, who knows? We've been here for a while. I, 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 hey, man, I could sit here and talk all day about Yu-Gi-Oh, but I know oh. I have to work in the morning. I'm not sure about you. But, Samesies. So, yeah. Who knows? If you guys would like to see a part two, if you if you guys would like to see see an, another sit-down draw for turn episode with, with me and the Common Collector, let us know in the comments section below. Let us know if you want if you want a part two. We can do this. We can do this again. I, w I would love to, man. I I've enjoyed having you on on the show. I want a part two. Oh, sweet. Okay, well then, guys, be ready for a part two coming eventually. We don't know when, uh, <laughs> but yep. but it'll happen. And again, just do not forget to, do not forget to sign up for that uh, for the giveaway for uh, uh, one of the 2021 megatons. Absolutely. Uh, and like and and like he said. Uh, but you, so you're opening them okay uh live stream live stream for sure. uh okay that, that that will have actually already happened already happened by the time this comes out on the monday where these people are seeing it presently okay uh, but they can totally go back and see uh see the recording uh and then the giveaway uh the drawing will will take place tuesday or or maybe even wednesday if we want to give people some more time to uh to view these videos 
would you be okay with doing it uh, Wednesday? Because this, like I said, this this is Monday. Oh, I, the, I, will, the, I will absolutely wait. All right, cool. Because the day yep. that people are yep. seeing this Wednesday go up, totally it's two. Uh, it's Monday. That'll give them Tuesday to go. You know, make sure that they've watched this one and your live stream video, and then we can announce it. Uh, we can announce it Wednesday if you would like. For sure, Wednesday. You guys heard it here. There we go. See, now we're gonna know if y'all if y'all stopped watching after after the middle of this video. If you stopped watching and you yeah, didn't make it all the you. way, we got you. Because it's we Wednesday, not Tuesday. So yeah. Yep. But anyways, Wednesday guys. Wednesday at noon, the announcement will be. Absolutely. But anyways, guys, thank y'all so much for watching. Common Collector okay. Man, thank Wrap you so much for joining. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and Thanks move for having up. me. I, uh, absolutely, man. It's been a great time. I enjoy talking to you. Yeah. And part two will come eventually, but we're going to go ahead and move on into end phase. Thank you all so much for watching, and uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Bye! Peace.